Okay, so before I go to the demons, I want to make sure that if I die, I do not lose many runes or arrows. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to spend all my nature runes on something. Um, I think the best thing I can do is go for 55 magic and then just high elk the runes. So that I don't have any nature runes if they kill me. Because I, you know, would feel so awful if I die with all these runes on me. So I need to find a way to use those. So I think what I'm going to do first is go to the bandit camp and make myself some more pizzas to feel a bit more safe. Alright then, this feels so great. I got some nice pizzas right here, this nice square of pizzas. Amazing. Alright, so I have been collecting some more runes because I want to get level 55 magic for high level alchemy. And I've been thinking, like, what monster should I kill for this? And I came to the conclusion that the only viable option is skeletons, because they drop the bronze bars and, you know, there's no other monster that I should go and kill. So even though I left there in the last episode, I'm gonna go back there once more to get level 55 magic, so I won't be there for too long. But after that, we're gonna go to the demons and get the max gear. Second kill, and only with melee, but here we go, a bronze bar already. Yoohoo! Well, that is a nice surprise. Level 41 strength. I mean, all the levels are very welcome, of course. I am starting to become really efficient, guys. Look at this. I'm just uh, waiting for the skeleton to respawn, and at the same time, I'm just using my curse runes to train my magic. I mean, it is perfect. Okay, so there's this guy that wants to attack me, and I gotta run now. Hopefully, I can do this right. Yes, he gets attacked. He gets attacked, but I get attacked too. And I've just done it! Oh man, yes! Of course I had to run, but he did not kill me and that is great. I'm happy. And here we go for level 55 magic. Now I can finally use high level alchemy, which is very nice because now I can finally, uh, you know, spend up all my runes and uh, use this stack. So uh, let's do that right now. Holy shit, guys, just look at this. Okay, so I attack this guy, I do a high elk, I use a crumbled undead, and I do it all at once, and I high elk again. And this is super good for experience, but I just attacked the wrong one, I just realized. 101 law runes incoming, and oh yeah! I mean, these law runes are gonna be very useful because I'm going to telegrab nature runes at this little island here. There's like two or three nature rune spawns, so um, after I'm, you know, have used all these law runes, I can high elk even more, so that's gonna be very useful. Honestly guys, this level went by so quickly, I mean, I'm almost out of nature runes, but then still I got a free magic level and that is worth so much on this account, so I'm super happy and uh, let's move on. So, thanks to all this training, I got five more bronze bars, which will help us get, you know, closer to 14 smithing, so that's what I'm gonna go for right now, look at this. How much XP do we need? We need uh, 126 XP. That means that if we get one genie lamp, it will be level 14, so that would be great to get. Well, there's an unexpected cooking level. Always welcome. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is extremely dangerous because I'm going to go back to the Greater Demons in the hopes of getting a Mithril Chain Body or a Kite Shield or maybe even both. But at the same time, I want to try to use my telekinetic grab to get myself some nature runes on this island. But this is a hotspot for PKers, so there's a very good chance that I will see people there and they may kill me. Well, that is the main reason why I, of course, spend up all my nature runes so I don't, you know, lose them if I die. But of course, if I die, I will still lose a fair amount of stuff, you know, all this best in slot gear that I got, or almost best in slot. So it's going to be ex exciting, but uh, we will see what's going to happen, guys. In a member's world, I would have been pretty much dead by now, if you know this place. <laughs> Alright, I just want to do this to show you guys what this is about. Look at that, I can telegrab three nature runes with one law rune, and there is another one, but there's only two of them. Uh, oh, wait, it's four of them! Really? I honestly believe it was always two. Wait a second. Please don't kill me. Is it actually four? Okay, so 22, and then telekinetic grab, 4. Holy crap, it's 4! 
That's even better. So this is basically the perfect spot for me. I can just kill these demons right here and whenever this thing respawns this nature rune, I can totally grab it. So that is perfect. And if I even want to, I can even um, hide elk in between the kills to speed up the process even faster. Sick. So there's a Picare over there, so I gotta run north. I think I'm just gonna hop, but he is now hunting me down, so I, I don't know what I should do. Take a break? I think I'm gonna take a break, but hmm. It's difficult because I really need to stay here, but he's trying to look for me like in every single world, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, seriously, guys, this feels so good. This is literally the last law rune that I have. Look at that. I can't even use it anymore. That is awesome. I got 392 nature runes. Now, I will use these as fast as I can because if I die, I don't want to lose these. I want to get more experience, so uh, let's do that now and kill some demons. What I love so much about this place is that I have unlimited eagle eye because this place will recharge your prayer if you're standing around the ruins, which is great because I can now just simply stay here, well not AFK because I gotta pay attention for PKers, but it's great to kill them now. I totally forgot that I don't have enough fire runes to cast all my uh, high level alchemy spells, so I'm gonna go back to the uh, dark warriors fortress and get myself some more fire runes so that I can get more mage XP and use these uh, nature runes. So, I am now done with picking up fire runes for a while because I got 1600 plus. Um, it's not enough to use all my nature runes, but I know for a fact that when I kill demons, I will get fire runes as a drop, so it won't be a problem. So, uh, when we go there, we will just use up all our uh, nature runes and then uh, move on and try to kill some more demons. Instead of greater demons, I'm going to kill lesser demons now first. And why? Because um, the lesser demon drops Mithril Chain Body and Mithril Square Shield, and the black, or I mean the greater demon, only drops a Mithril Kite Shield. So I have a double chance of receiving an upgrade from the lesser demons. But of course, even though if I get a Mithril Square Shield, it will be an upgrade, but not max gear. So I will have to go to the greater demons eventually. But I also need the Mithril Chain Body, which only is dropped by the lesser demons. So let's first go to them and see how that works out. So I'm still standing in multi here, but I'm very close to single combat, it's like over there. So if there is a PKer, then I think there's a good chance I will survive this, but of course I hope I can just kill these guys very peacefully. Wanna see something cool? Well, look at this! 57 magic guys, only two more levels and then we have achieved our free to play goal. Then we can use fire blast, holy shit, sick. Look at this guys, level 60 range, that is amazing, but I gotta say, I've killed 66 lesser demons and I haven't gotten one single good drop, so it's kind of, you know, discouraging, but still, I will keep going because I will need the mithril chain body, so I will go for that. But look at that, by the way, this is very nice because a red dragonite body is dropped by the crazy archaeologist, so once I do become a member, I do have some nice equipment that I can get, so... Very nice. One more level and then we have uh, completed our free-to-play goal for range. Just look at my inventory, guys. A room at helm. I mean, I wanted a good drop, but not this one. Like on any Iron Man, I would love to get this one because I can just high allocate, which I'm going to do right now. But I need a mithril drop, so let's hope we get a chain body next time. But thank you. Anyways. You've got to be kidding me, another rune mad helm. I mean, let's alk it, but I have no idea what to do with all this cash. I mean, I think I have to keep this until I'm a member, but for now, let's just get rid of this. I remember the time where I had to run from these guys, but look at me now. I'm proud of myself. And there is another free strength level. Look at that, 42, not bad. Over a thousand new bronze arrows, let's hope that in these arrows I will get an upgrade for my armor. I wasn't paying attention and ooh, he almost found me. <gasps> well, he's gonna hunt me down now for sure, so I have to... Hmm, what do I do? I don't know. Hey, this is nice, 55 HP. Let's continue. Well then guys, the time is finally here. We got 61 range, the goal has been achieved. That is so sick. I mean, we can now literally drop this bow and it doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm not gonna do it because I can still use my arrows, but we've done it. I mean, once we become a member, I can use a rune crossbow, so it's gonna be so insane. We have done it, guys. Awesome.